Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing, the entire world, cryptocurrency. We are talking about Celestia, Tia token today. We're talking about Osmosis. We're talking about the Kepler wallet and Kepler staking. We're talking about bridging in. And in, in particular, we're also looking at the idea of staking your Tia inside all of these different platforms and staking opportunities to make you eligible for future airdrops in the Cosmos ecosystem. This is a tutorial video about how to handle this. Uh, I already set it up, so I'm just gonna be going through it. And of course, we will also be pointing out that we are kind of organized into the airdrop tracking sheet, which we're putting together for our NFT community. So let's get straight into it, right? This is Osmosis, um, a really cool yield farm, which I'm pretty new to, but it's been around for ages. Just to begin this video, I think that uh, the Osmo token is set to absolutely explode in the future. Um, and I'm going to be buying this up. Even though it is a DEX token, I think it has massive upside. We're not going to look at price action today, though. Um, even the TIA token, which we'll be talking about, has been doing very well up from $2 up to like $12 or $14, right? It's doing extremely well price-wise. Yeah, they all are. The bull market's coming. Of course they are. But what we're going to be doing is looking today at what we can do with the tokens to make you eligible for future rewards, um, which is the best thing, right? It's basically free money using tokens which look like they're going to be going to the moon, right? So in today, we're talking about Osmosis. We'll be talking about Milky Way, which we spoke about last week at some point. And of course, Kepler dashboard staking, where to put these tokens, who to delegate with, um, and some advice for you for those, which ones to use, which ones to not. And we're going to bridge over. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to talk about TIA in particular today, TIA token, um, which you could find uh, here, right? There's TIA. Celestia token TIA. We need to get this token. The way to get this token and to use it is firstly to get yourself this wallet. This is called the Kepler wallet, link in the description, and you're going to need to use the TIA network. Now, it's pretty confusing for a first time using this um, because you'll notice that different tokens are on <laughs> different chains, right? So I have TIA token on Celestia. I also have TIA token on Osmosis. The reason I have TIA on Osmosis chain is because I'm using it um, over here um, in this yield farm, which is the Osmosis farm, right? Um, so to use it there, I, like uh, I was using it with liquidity, I believe. Um, so what I want to do though, for staking my TIA, of course, you want to be staking your TIA on the Celestia network, right? Uh, I'll quickly show you where we want to get to, and then I'll show you how you want to get there, right? So we want to come to staking um, on your Kepler wallet, staked, then go to stake with Kepler dashboard. Well, then come over to this. It's then going to show you a bunch of chains. We can have a look. So the token of the chain is the one you can stake in the Kepler dashboard. So of course, Osmosis token, we start stake Osmo token, right? Injective, we're going to stake Injective token. Celestia, we're going to stake Tia. Yeah, Celestia token. So we come to this, we click it. Then we're going to see a list of all the validators, and different ones that we can use to validate with. Um, come to the sheet now, right? Before we get into bridging, this is our airdrop sheet. Uh, and I've added at the bottom here, the TIA staking airdrops uh, checklist, basically. Um, what to do, what not to do. Um, is it confirmed or is it not confirmed? This is all in here. I've misspelt confirmed, I just noticed. A million times, confirmed. <laughs> Genius. Typo. Right, so to get access to this sheet, you're going to need the SCC NFT. The SCC NFT link is in the description. There's two ways to get it. You can either purchase it uh, by minting on my website, cryptomischief.io. Uh, the mint price is 0.1 ETH. If that is too expensive for you, you can also use our raffle game, um, which is on the Polygon network. The NFT collection is also on Polygon. It's just easy and cheap to use, right? Um, you can then come to the raffle app, for example, buy a ticket for 0.0006 ETH, which is about $12, $15, something like that. Um, and you could win an NFT, right? This is continuous. It always goes on. Um, if you buy more, if you buy 20 tickets without a win, we will also send you an NFT. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, then you come to the, the link in the description to join the Telegram DAO. 
Inside the DAO, there's the airdrop room, and in that room, you will find a link to this sheet, which is ever growing, ever moving. Solana, Layer Zero, Bridges, Scroll, Linear, Injective, Binance Smart Chain, Dot Wallet, Venom, Arion, Blast, Manta, Grass, and Tia Staking airdrops are all in this as well, and it's, it's building momentum as we go. Essentially, I troll through Twitter endlessly to find all the alpha, and I put it in here for the community. And the NFTs, by the way, um, also airdrop every single month the next airdrop is in nine days on the 15th of january and we send matic to you passively soon we'll be sending eth to you passively too so that's great more details on the website at cryptomischief.io link in the description <laughs> so shill over let's get on to it we're going to use just a simple bridge um, at the moment there are a bunch of other ways to bridge in to um Tia, but uh, let me check actually. So if we come to the tracker, we have listed Portal, Mayan, Rhino, and Orbiter. I'm not sure if any of these can actually bridge over to Cosmos. Um, and I'm not going to waste time on stream because I know that this one works because I used it yesterday. So there's no, you're not going to get any extra airdrop eligibility from using this one. But this is the Change Now bridge, and I have one set up on Polygon Land, which is a game I made. Um, so we can use this one easily. I'm going to bridge from BNB over to Tia. So we just take this and then I'll put in Tia, right? I have Celestia here, right? Uh, let's see how much BNB we have in this wallet and let's ledger up and get ready. So 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Okay, let's go half a BNB, okay? Which is 200 bucks or 180 bucks or something. And let's send that over. We'll get 10 Tia tokens, okay? So we're going to click exchange. Is that going to ask us for our address? This is very important. You need to give your Tia wallet. To get your Tia wallet, you will come to your Kepler wallet. You then need to find the Tia token. We want to deposit tokens. We want to deposit Celestia token, this one here. So we click that, then we click here, and then we will go to next. The next thing you want to do is click on exchange, and it's going to then give us an address for ERC20 token deposit because of course it's on a different chain. So we're gonna take that address, we will paste it in here, double check it, and then send the exact amount, 0 0.5 BNB. And yeah, $150, okay. That will then send over as TIA token and arrive. So probably by the time that we've talked about other things, the TIA will be arrived and then we'll be able to stake it in a validator um, to be eligible for airdrops. Coming back to the sheet, right. Um, what I have here is uh, the first thing at the top, I have Milk and Osmosis working in unison. So we'll firstly come to Milk in the Milky Way. This says to stake Tia and receive Milk Tia while staking. This is a really great platform, right? Unbelievable to be honest, right? So I have seven Tia tokens here sitting in my wallet, $100 worth of Tia. Tia price today is down 10%, which is why it's a great time for buying because uh, it's been on an absolute tear. Um, what we could do is I would stake, for example, four TIA tokens, right? And it says here add half. The reason they're suggesting you add half is because you can then use the second half of that TIA token to form liquidity with it and then grant yourself future um, rewards that way too on Osmosis Chain. Um, we'll, we'll supply first, then we'll check out the docs and I'll explain why this is revolutionary, right? This uh, staking platform, right? For the uh, Cosmos ecosystem. So we stake four Tia, right, in here, and we will receive uh, the milk Tia. So we approve that. This is uh, paying Osmo. So is this on Osmo chain? Must be. Possibly. <laughs> it's quite quite hard to see. Uh, stake Tia and receive milk Tia while staking. It's, one thing is, is quite confusing on the Cosmos ecosystem. It's always confusing, like, where are we? Which chain are we on? What's going on? Let's find out. Uh, Milky Way offers a liquid staking solution for Celestia's TIA. By staking your TIA coins with Milky Way, you receive an on-chain representation of your TIA staking position called Milk TIA. The stake TIA is used as to secure Celestia. Okay, so this is Celestia chain TIA, right? Good. You can utilize Milk TIA by, for various activities. Please refer to the discovery page. We'll do that soon. Um, furthermore, you can instantly withdraw your stake TIA without waiting for the standard 21-day unbonding period. Simply swap Milk TIA. Uh, for other assets on the listed DEXs. How does staking with Milk t Milky Way work? So the whole idea there is that I could take um, 
Milky, so Milky Way is deployed on the Osmosis chain. You can liquid stake your Tia on Osmosis chain and or Celestia for Milk Tia. The Tia you stake will be delegated uniformly across Milky Way's validator set. Staking rewards are automatically compounded for detailed explanations to check there. So as before, I was saying that you can come to Celestia on the Kepler wallet and then you can deposit Tia into these to start validating for staking. What generally happens on Cosmos, Cosmos uh, ecosystem is people who uh, validate their tokens on these if through staking, right? And Kepler dashboard in future are eligible for various airdrops of different cryptos. It's happened a lot. Even the Celestia token was airdropped to people who I believe staked Atom, right? So what you need to do then is to get into a different, uh, a bunch of different uh, validators and get into them. I recommend coming back to the sheet, right? I recommend that you stake Tia on at least five validators. And I have it very clearly. Don't stake in the top 10. Don't stake with sexes. Don't stake with dexes. The reason is because they generally don't get the airdrop. The whole idea for staking um, in dashboards with validators is to create massive uh, decentralization. You stake and then you offer up votes for prep, uh, uh, governance vote, voting um, prepositions and things. And that then highlights you as a major player in the network, validating the network, adding to governance, therefore receiving tokens as a reward for your hard work. That's the whole ethos of it, right? So you don't want to be going with a sex. So for example, Polychain is 20% commission <laughs> and has huge voting power. It's the top 10. So if you click on it and then go to stake, it's probably going to tell you. You are staking to one of the top 10 validators. Don't do it, right? So that's for example. What Mil Milky Way are doing is they're taking your TIA token for you. They're staking it into a, a variety of different ones, right? Which is going to be make you eligible for countless loads of airdrops from all these different places. And then all you have to do is be staked a little bit into the Kepler so you can do your voting, right? Um, so it's an easy, it's a lazy man's uh, way of staking your Celestia token to get future airdrops, right? Essentially. Then, so I put it all in there. Um, we can then come to their discover point, right? Discover. And I'll, I'll get, I'll, another huge bonus is that if I stake my tea in any of these places, there's a 21 day wait period for me to get my tokens back. And something very important about that is with a Milky Way, you could just trade out the asset and move away from staking by doing it that way as well. So really great. So what we can do is we have two things. Uh, we can provide liquidity on Osmosis, which is why we were talking about it before. Let's go to Osmosis. So this is Osmo chain, and we can take our milk Tia, which was Celestia and Osmos chain, I guess, going cross chain. We can provide liquidity with Tia token to then earn on that too. So you're not only putting it into an asset, you're then uh, validating uh, the network, possibly receiving airdrops, and then farming with it too. So I tried this yesterday. Um, I'm out of range though, because this is V3 yield farming. We will notice the price of Milk Tia. This is where the risk comes in. There's always risk in crypto. Price of Milk Tia is falling in comparison to the price of Tia, because of course people will be leaving, lazily leaving out of Milk Tia. And how do they do that? They sell out their position um, just on the decks and swap it in, into something else, right? Or they build their milk tea position and then think, oh, I want to build up liquidity too. So they just sell some of their milk tea into it. So what I would recommend, I actually put a pretty low range on this, but apparently not low enough. So the lower your range and less high range, I think should be advised. So we're going to remove our liquidity, which uh, we only put in yesterday, but hey ho. And we're going to reform our liquidity, right? Um, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We got more milk Tia now and zero Tia. <laughs> but we bridged over some Tia. So we're going to retry to bridge, uh, um, put in the liquidity. This is why uh, you should be careful with not putting all your eggs in one basket. Also just taking single stick Tia into the Kepler wallet, which we're going to also do. So let's create a... So I'm going to try this new manage service. Uh, so we'll select Quasar. It's going to give us 11% APR. Okay, this is, uh, so if I put in all the milk tea here, I'm just going to have to merge it with a 0.67 tea because probably they were also expecting that the price was going to not fall so sharply, but it has. So therefore, 
they're going to do it too. So I'm just going to get into this one with all the milk tea and be done with it. You know, why not? Right. So that's us uh, good. We are deposit completed. Um, it can take two minutes to see the changes on my vault. So of course, we will then take this here. We'll bookmark this tab because we don't want to forget that we are in here and lose our TIA and then come back ages later and find it, right? So this, this is going to manage our liquidity for us, okay? Good stuff, okay? Less stress for me. I'm already in lots of pools. Um, so that's the first thing we can do. If we come back to the sheet, then we also have here Kepler stake, uh, dashboard, stake and wallet, Celestia chain, stake, TIA, and at least five validators, right? So this is my aim. Um, here are some of the benefits of the validators, right? By staking TIA with validators, either through Milky Way or doing it by yourself, I suggest doing both, right? Just to double check that you're going to be eligible, right? We have Doki, which is a meme coin. Barachain, Caldera, Layer and Radius, and Hyperlane are all projects which are either confirmed or rumored places which by staking TIA you will be eligible for future airdrops from just staking, validating, and voting and governance. So that's why this TIA token is exploding because there are already great use cases for it. So to stake your TIA, you will need your TIA on the TIA blockchain. We're here looking at TIA chain. Chain here and then come down and find the right chain that you want to look at, right? So Celestia chain, right? We then have, I've staked four TIA with one validator, and my plan is to stake at least 10 TIA with a bunch of different validators, so we need five more. Um, I went for a ZK validator, no reason really, just it was not in the top 10. It's not the sex, it's not the dex. So we'll just come down and we'll see other ones, right? So for example, we have here Figment, okay? Um, this has a 10% commission, which means they get 10% of your rewards. Maybe you don't want to do that one. You want to check a smaller one, right? With P2P org here, Coinbase Cloud is a sex. Ignore it, right? Um, P2P org, yeah, why not? So we just choose this one. Um, an early contributor and longtime Cosmos ecosystem participant stake with us for a secure, reliable, and simple service. Great. So we take them. We say, okay, let's. I'll give you my... Um, you are staking with the top 10. No, oh no, we don't want that. Okay, so we get out of that. We come back down again. We find uh, this one, validators, okay? Um, ver verifying blockchain entries on purely enterprise Linux-based systems with regular security audits, stay safe, stake with us, okay? So that would be staking will lock your funds for 21 days. That's normal, right? Don't worry about that. We have five TIA eligible, so we will take five TIA, $73, and we will stake with these guys. Okay, so this is me gradually building up DCAing into validating with different uh, with different services in the Kepler dashboard, aiming to get up to five different validators with at least 10 T in each one. And that's what I recommend you would do to be able to get in some way a pretty um, juicy airdrop at some point. You can then favorite the different ones you're in. You know, for so if I'm in Injective, Cosmos, Osmosis, and Celestia so far, you can come down to the left-hand side and start clicking into other ones that you want to also delegate with so sticking on tia then we then can then come to active proposals and we will find different voting periods and voting things that people are validating on right so for example we'd come to one uh here we have injective right this says uh crypto nft staking platform you see there the majority have said no to this um there must be a reason why um, you can maybe scroll down and see the reason why but at the moment all we want to do is come to vote and i'm going to go with the uh, the opposition, the, the flow of what everyone else says, I've then approved this vote, right? By continuing to vote in governance on Cosmos, you're always clicking yourself in for different PM, different uh, eligibility for different airdrops, right? You need to be active. You need to keep going with this. So Celestia currently has no proposals, but we could later have one. So keep an eye on that. Osmosis, I'm staking with them as well. You will see um, voting periods for this as well. So I voted in this. I did. I missed this one. A renewal program, read through it, check out what you want to do, and then come in for the vote and, you know, vote on what you want. Um, does it matter what you vote for? Probably, but, you know, I live in China and voting is very rare here. <laughs> so, fuck it. <laughs> I want airdrops and I want them now. And the last thing in the airdrop tracker is Layer Bank, which is over on Good Friends Manta, right? So, let's whip over to Layer Bank and we will check out what's going on there. So, Layer Bank is a lending protocol on manta and we of course also have celestia tia on manta network right um the token so you can buy it here and use it on this chain too uh to also possibly in future get yourself 
Mant token kind of confirmed. Why does say that we come here to re uh, rewards? You can see here it's it's highlighted the Tia Manta right there. Okay, for points detailed, right? So if you are going to borrow out Manta or Tia uh, with um, your capital, like I have, I've supplied Tia and I've borrowed Tia off of it, right? Together, um, I then come into other DeFi platforms and use the Tia and liquidity to start yield farming there too. So by doing that, you know, I'm, I'm earning rewards in the layer bank token, LabM token. And we can come somewhere, I think I went to Izumi with my Tia and I've staked it in there as well. Yeah, here, so I went in with ETH and Tia here uh, with $300 of tokens and I'm earning fees here. You can see I've earned 0 0.2 uh, Tia. The main reason I've been using it with Izumi is though, because if we come to the points section, I points, you see that I'm starting to tick off uh, point sections. So I need to get up to $500 of LP to get 30 points, 500, 3000 or $3,000, right? Um, and hold it for a certain amount of time to then earn more points. So I'm DCAing as well up into my uh, farming section with Izumi2 to earn the points. So I'm using Tia in multiple ways on those Osmo chain, Milky Way. I'm using it with uh, Manta to get points for the Manta airdrop of those 50 million tokens. And I'm using it for delegation and voting and keeping active with it. This is how we use the token. Um, later, you know, we can talk about the price performance of it and price possibilities of it, but that's why it's popping off. If you're interested in what's going on with this token, why does it keep coming up in the CoinGecko uh, trending? What's the whole shebang about it? I just explained it all for you. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got to talk about today. I've been Crypto Mischief. You guys have, all, as always, been awesome. If you're interested in the airdrop tracker, then I have our free entry Telegram group um, in the description. You can join that first and ask me questions or uh, on Telegram or just, you know, get the NFT, come into the DAO. I'll both link in the description. Peace. Be good to each other. Don't get wrecked. Bye. Have a good weekend.